Do you prorate tuition for new students, future enrolls, future drops, close dates, or for extra classes in a billing cycle? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you'll love how Jackrabbit can prorate tuition for you. Here's how. Set your prorating settings by going to Tools, Edit Settings. Click on Tuition Settings in the menu on the left. In order to calculate proration, each class needs to have a billing method, billing cycle, start date, and end date. You can set the billing method you use and your billing cycles here. If you use the billing cycle by session dates, be sure your sessions have start and end dates. In the prorating settings section, select yes for the setting do you prorate. This will enable Jackrabbit to prorate tuition for you when using the post tuition fees function and if you wish during online web registration. Jackrabbit can factor in your closed dates when prorating. You can set these closed dates by going to Tools, Edit Settings, Closed Dates. When you prorate tuition, do you also prorate the discounts? For example, a family might receive a multi-class discount of $5 normally, but for a student enrolled for only half the billing cycle, they will receive half the multi-class discount, $2.50. Another example of prorating discounts is in the pop-up help. If you charge extra when a class meets more than the standard number of times in a month, select Yes, and Jackrabbit will calculate the per-class rate and add it to tuition when there are extra days. Use the Edit All Classes function to quickly edit classes all at once. Enter criteria such as billing method equal to no value to filter and select only the classes you wish to update. You may use either the global change row to update selected classes all at once, or change the prorate tuition field to no in the row for any class that tuition is not prorated. This is also helpful to update the billing method, billing cycle, class start date, and end date if needed. Remember to save changes. You may also open a class on the Summary tab and update the fields needed to prorate tuition or uncheck the prorate tuition field on any class that tuition is not prorated. These settings for prorating only apply when you post tuition using the Post Tuition Fees function. When previewing your tuition fees, fee details are provided to help you determine how the fee amount was calculated. If you wish to prorate tuition when new customers enroll via your online web registration form, go to Tools, Online Web Registration, Settings, and look for Tuition Fee Settings.